and welcome to the RCModelReviews.com YouTube channel where, in response to popular demand, I will be speaking more slowly this time. Today I'm looking at the FreeSky 2.4 GHz uh, radio control module and receivers. This is a lovely little package out of China. Comes in a box like that, which contains one module of your choice for your JR or your Futaba high-tech radio and an eight-channel receiver. Now, I was looking at these and I thought, hmm, another Chinese module system, how good can it be? So I put it on the test bench. First of all, it uses frequency hopping. Now, some of the other Chinese frequency hopping systems like the Corona have had their problems. So I threw it on the spectrum analyzer to see if it really was frequency hopping. And this is what we get. If we look at the screen on the spectrum analyzer, you can see that this definitely is frequency hopping. It's using the entire spectrum along here, using it all up, as you can see. And that's great. It actually means it can hop over interference or through interference and give you solid control regardless of what else is on the band. At least that's the theory. We'll be testing that in a later video. So now looking at the modules. Now the Futaba high-tech module is pretty standard. It's a bit like the Corona as you can see. Plugs in the back of the transmitter, has a little socket, aerial comes out. Must admit I'm not a great fan of setups where the aerial takes the weight of the transmitter when you lay it down. But the problem with the high-tech and Corona system, sorry, the high-tech and the Futaba systems is on a high-tech transmitter the module goes this way. On a Futaba transmitter it goes the other way. So if you put the transmitter, let me see what can I, I can find here. If you do what WFly have done with their very nice system and do a piece of plastic like that, when you put it in the high-tech the aerial points down. And the best you can hope for is to point it out like that. Not very satisfactory. So um, FreeSky have chosen to make their modules so that you can use it in the, the high-tech or the Futaba, but the downside is you get this touching the ground when you lay your transmitter down. Fair enough. The JR module, excellent, no problems, because they have used a plastic platform to support the antenna. So the antenna comes up between the handle and the case, meaning when you lay that down, it rests on the handle. Brilliant. Excellent. Just what I like to see. Now, speaking of the module, very tight fit in the Futaba 9C I tried it in and uh, had to do a bit of cutting and a bit of sanding to get it in. Not particularly good, but it's a minor thing. Once you've got your module in, you probably never want to take it out because these work quite well. Now, transmitter, uh, sorry, the receivers come in a little eight channel version uh, with two aerials for supposedly to give you diversity. And you also get a four channel receiver if you want it. Tiny little one like that. Just a little wee one, probably, I don't know, maybe three grams or something. Just good for your indoor flyers. Bit shorter range on this, 500 meters I think they say, which is actually quite a good distance. This one, full range, they say 1.2k. I walked over a kilometer doing a range check on this on the ground. And it was still going at the end, but I wasn't. I was knackered, so I came back. I suspect this will have more range than you will ever, ever need. Because one kilometre, a thousand metres is a long way, and that's on the ground. Once you get in the air, you can almost double that. So two kilometres, you cannot see the average size model at two kilometres. This is more than good enough in terms of range. I've flown models with the Free Sky in, haven't had a glitch, gone as far as I could see, solid control all the way. Not concerned about the range with the Free Sky. Now, um, another good aspect of the system is the reboot time. It's fantastically fast. If you turn the um, receiver off and turn it on again, comes back almost instantly. There's no long delayed boot up. When you first turn it on, turn the transmitter on, turn the receiver on, boom, it's there. Corona takes an age to boot, to boot up sometimes. It's, um, these are very, very good. And as far as brownout voltage, it's not the best, but it's certainly good enough. It's around three volts or so. You can get, take it down to about two point something, 2.8, 2.9 .2 volts, still goes. When you drop below that, it stops. But as soon as you bring the voltage up, instantly it comes back on again. That's great because sometimes, as we know, the power systems in modern models are not always uh, are good enough for 2.4, but this will do the job nicely. I'm not concerned about that. I'm going to put one of these in my 50cc gas, gas plane and see what happens. I think I'll be quite happy with that. 
Which brings me to another thing. You can use these in big planes. I'm going to use one in my jet because they've got failsafe. And a lot of the Chinese stuff like Corona doesn't have a failsafe. Uh, some of them, Fly Dream, W Fly, they've got failsafe. Excellent, top quality. This has failsafe. That's good. It means it has a great, much wider range of application. Um, failsafe works really well too. I'm happy with it. Tested it. Works fine. So there's an aeroplane flying overhead. Expect that to go away. So that's the free sky. I'm happy with it. Full test is on the website. Go to the rcmodelreviews.com website. You'll find all you need to know about it there. And this is the first of my 2.4 gigahertz module shootout videos. And the precursor to the full shootout article on rcmodelreviews.com. Over the next days, I'll be posting the reviews of the other systems I've tested, the high-tech, the WFly, the Corona, the FlyDream, the high-tech, a, a whole lot more, anyway. Um, and, of course, viewers who have subscribed to this channel will be in with a chance to win these systems that I've been reviewing. And you'll get the full inside oil. And then at the end of it, I'll give you my summary as to which I think is the best. Okay? So that's it for now. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can possibly win a great prize. And go to the rcmodelreviews.com website, have a look around, check back every couple of days because it'll be updated fast and furiously from this point on. And if you've got any questions, you can ask them on this page or you can go to rcmodelreviews.com and use the contact email address. And I'm more than happy to talk to you about them. Okay, that's it for now. Tune in next time for another review from rcmodelreviews.com. Thanks for watching.